on top of the mountains in the middle of Greece, among these very interesting rock formations, we have various monasteries. It is part of a larger UNESCO World Heritage Site called as I show you for about 10 minutes, the beautiful on live video. My name is Urbanist and let's explore Meteora. Good morning, Mark Alimera, to everyone tuning in. Welcome. I'm heading up to that monastery. I won't be able to film inside the monastery, so I'm going to show you the walk up to it. I don't, I don't have two tour, and this tour is on the schedule. Hey, Edward. <laughs> nice to see you here. Edward says, give Greece back to the Dutch. And Edward says, oh, wait. Yeah, Edward, not in your... Okay. Look how magnificent this is. It's rising from the ground up in these magnificent structures. These were built by the Greek Orthodox. They fortified monasteries in order to protect from incoming Ottoman invaders. And hence it's... So the sound you're hearing are the cicadas, the insects. And these rock formations are... Uh, they were due to uh, the colliding of the earth moving. Yeah, the connection is a bit spotty, but look at these. Wow. Blown away. So here's the road up. Usually this would be filled to the brim with tour buses. But now, because of COVID and the pandemic, it's a lot less. The connection is indeed spotty. But for many ten thousands of years, people have been worshipping here in caves. It really isn't associated with anything with ancient Greek mythology, but there's always been hermits up here doing some type of worship. But then Greek Orthodoxy took over this area of the world and they started building these monasteries in Meteora, which is about a three and a half hour drive from. And we're about to go to Metamorphosis, part of my Greek, Storios Monastery. Hey, Mark says it's stunning. Oh yeah. Let's get closer to a monastery. I won't be able to film inside because it's strict no filming policy. I'll show you from the outside a little bit closer. Calimera, action home, action show. Maria, Calimera to you too. Look at these rock formations. This is truly breathtaking. First time I've seen rock formations like this. We have similar rock formations in the US. They were formed in a different way. But nowhere near New York City can you see something like this. Souvenirs. 
There we go. Hey, Andrew says, good day from Australia. Thanks for bringing us this amazing sight to us. My pleasure, my pleasure. So here we're getting closer. We see an Orthodox priest down there or a monk. George Calimera to you too. Carmel says, this is spectacular. Kay asks, will I be take, able to take photos? Maybe. I think they're very against video, but photo, I think I might be able to. So stay tuned, crossing fingers. But why don't they allow video? Well, you know, I was asking that to my, I'll link the Airbnb experience afterwards. I'll give you a mega link with all the Airbnb experiences after this trip. So do remind me of that. Well, they charge an admission of three euro to get in. If you're a Greek citizen, you'll get in for free. Otherwise, it's three euro. People usually come here with gold icons and those gold icons, they collect them. Hence, there are huge gold storage inside these monasteries. Maybe that's the reason why they don't allow video. Who knows? It is a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site, so you can't camp over here at all. So, hey, Carmel says I'm excited. I'm excited too. Carolyn sent 300 stars. Thank you so much. Kyle says, what an amazing sight. Oh, yes. What an amazing sight. Look at the stair. I'm about to do those stairs right now. Look at that. <laughs> I think 30 minutes won't be nowhere near. It's in the monastery. All right, let's go. So this is five minus two. All right, I'm going to lose service. So I have very bad service here, uh, obviously, because we are in four to five months. I'm going to point out the details here, just show it to you, and that'll be, I'll call it a day for this live. Stay tuned for mini lives throughout the day. So let me point out the details, and then I'm going to make my journey up the monastery, and hopefully I can take some photos. Andrew says, see what amazing people, what amazing things people can do when they haven't got to do with their time. Indeed, some beautiful, beautiful works of art can be made. Hey, Joe. How are you doing? Kalimera, Chris. Hope you're well. Glifada. Priyesh. Nice to see you here, Priyesh. Namaste. So this is the second holiest site in all of Greece when it comes to Greek Orthodoxy, the second holiest site. This is second only to Mount Athos, which is even harder to get to. Tourists really don't go. Uh, it is usually only, it's only allowed to men. So women are not allowed onto that peninsula. Here, both men and women can visit, but you do have to come clothed. So don't come wearing shorts or short skirts. Not my rules, it's theirs. Pick up and drop it in Santorini and would not look out of place, says Mark. Yeah, right. It is truly breathtaking views you can experience here in Greece because there's so much terrain change. You know, you have beautiful mountains. 
you have Meteora, you have Sunder, it's one of the most visited countries. Or I wish I could get that service. Hey, Thedis, thank you so much for tuning in. Zoe says good morning from Meteora. Thought you left for Thessaloniki. No, Alicine, this is Meteora. This is in about a three and a half hour drive from Thessaloniki. So oh, I'm glad. CC Bell. Sell excursions to Meteora when I used to work as a rep in, in Greece, says uh, Zoe. Oh, that's so awesome. There it is. The second holiest place in all of Greece. Meteora World. UNESCO Heritage Site, one of the most famous sites in the entire world. I'll be taking more videos, more TikToks. Stay tuned. Now I gotta rush up the stairs because I'm on a time schedule. I only got 20 minutes left. So keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. From Meteora. Thank you so much. Kalimera. Zoe, feel better. Kalimera.